We are in the odd shots boxing ring. This is no regular comparison video. Here we do head on battles between your best loved toys. Today's battle is going to be brutal. It's a battle between brothers. On one side, we have the six year champion, Hyundai Creta. And on the other, it's the bad boy who shook everyone, Kia Seltong. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Today's battle in the boxing ring will be on these grounds The one with maximum damage okay. oh. Why wait, let's begin The Creta has a huge cascading grill Crescent LED DRLs, sharp lines, bulky shoulders, an amazing back with those shiny exhaust tips. This car looks elegant with a minimal design. Seltos is the badass with the tiger nose grille, crown jewel headlamps and aggressive looking front with a huge bumper. But with that back, the Seltos takes a punch with those wannabe looking exhaust tips. While the Creta gets this silver slant flowing into the C-pillar and diamond cut alloys for the SX SO trim and these grey ones for the SX Turbo. The Seltos surely likes a lot of blink. Look at that chrome it shows off, even on the C pillar. What's good looking are these crystal cut alloys on the GT with these red accents and these on the tech line. This had to be a tough one. But you know what? Looks are subjective. They change person to person. You let me know in the comments below. Who looks better? For now, this is a tie. Let's move on. The Krita has a minimal design on the inside. Speaks the Korean language. Feels big because of this low lying dash. Steering is a vocal on design here, but looks good. Seltos has a class. Reminds me of the BMW. Feels more premium and you sit a little low with this classy steering. Well thought interiors. Especially the wireless charger with the cooling unit to prevent heating while charging. Seltos also gives you a separate storage space for your coins and keys, unlike the Creta. The Creta gives you this leather like look with some cheap plastic, but you get this premium looking gear lever with a clean console. The Seltos covers the cheap plastic with some leather like material in the front. This overall looks much better. It looks like we have a clear winner. Amazing looking and well thought interiors. The cabin might make you feel a little cozy, but it will surely give you a sense of luxury. It's the Kia Seltos. Creta boasts with this huge panoramic sunroof, makes the cabin look big and spacious. Back seats have got great under thigh support and overall are comfortable for long trips. They also give you this pillow to keep you happy. Here in the Seltos, comfort starts from the driver's seat. You have tilt and telescopic steering unlike the Creta. The back seat is good, but the car feels more compact. Additionally, you get a middle headrest unlike the Creta. The Creta also gives you a touch controlled air purifier, while the Seltos doesn't. Both of these get cooled seats and sun blinds. But the Creta manages to punch the Seltos with more attention given to the back seat comfort and convenience. This round goes to the Creta. In this round, who's smarter is the question. Well, in the Creta you get the blue link and this you get the OO with more than 50 plus features. But with the updated blue link, you can start your car remotely even on the manual. And you can open the sunroof with just voice command. I'm sure the Seltos will get the features probably later, but for this round and for today, Creta wins. Seltos gets a 360 degree parking camera, blind spot monitoring and front parking sensors to keep you away from obstacles, while the Creta just gets you a rear view camera and some puddle lamps to keep you away from manholes in India probably. The Seltos also has a heads up display to make sure your eyes are always on the road. An easy battle for the winner, the Seltos. 
The Creta might give you this huge panoramic sunroof and some paddle shifters. This ain't a battle for the Siltos because it gets auto rain sensing wipers, gear shift indicator, automatic headlamps, LED fog lamps and many more features. Was this even a battle? The Kia Seltos wins this round. The Seltos is just more fun to drive. The steering has a better response and the car feels good. This car will surely not shy away from speedy corners. The Creta, compared to the Seltos, rides on a softer suspension. This does mean that you get a smoother ride quality at the cost of some driving experience. The paddle shifters is something that probably covers the driving experience part. This is where you can have a lot of fun in the grid. The Seltos on the other hand does not get any paddle shifters and the gearbox is a little jerky on slow speeds but it's the more fun to drive car. Considering our Indian roads, just like Thanos says, we always need to get the balance just right. The Creta wins at the driving experience any day. I have to decide who wins this battle. I'm just a guy who loves cars. And if I had to buy one of these, I need a car that's comfortable. A car that gives me my space, feels big. And a car that's powerful enough. It better be capable of handling all kinds of Indian roads without any disturbance. So, for me, that's the Creta. The winner of this auto short boxing race is the Creta. While we are really looking out for a better driving experience and also a better cabin experience. And I'll suggest go for the Seltos. But overall, the Creta makes a better winner. If you like our content, hit the like button and do subscribe. And please let me know who should be the next contenders for the next Odd Shots Boxing Ring. See you soon.